so the, the, the company uh, that I really want to talk about the most right now is Square. Uh, and Square is interesting for a, a number of reasons. But I want to just ask, how many of you uh, have actually uh, shopped in a store that has a Square cash register? So for a fair number of you. How many of you had the Square Wallet app running when you did that? Smaller number of you. I really recommend it. It's pretty weird when you walk into the store and they say, are you Tim O'Reilly? You know, I, obviously, the clerks need a little retraining because, of course, uh, they should be asking you what's your name you know, so that you have to provide it, and then you get two-factor authentication. Instead, they're just looking at your name on the cash register and you know, your face. And, but still, you look like yourself. You're, you're probably OK. But there are a number of wonderful things, lessons, in this app. And I want to sort of tease them apart. Um, the, the first one is to do less. You know, we hear a lot in the mobile world about how it's a small screen. We hear about how people use mobile devices differently. But there's something that's incredibly important that's going on in mobile that I think we're just beginning to understand. And that is that your mobile device knows so much that you don't have to tell it as much as you used to. You know, I'm an investor in Foursquare, but I still think, how stupid is it that I have to check in somewhere? I mean, my phone already knows I'm there. I'm an investor in RunKeeper. But I say, why do I have to tell my phone that I started running? It knows I started running. It knows when I stopped. And one of the things that I love about Square is that Jack has exploited this. You know, when you show up in that store, uh, you know, you're, you're, if you're running the Square Wallet app, your identity is broadcast to any Square cash registers. Now, if you talk to a merchant, you'll say, oh, yeah, sometimes we get people who are in the next door over. It's not like a real check-in. <laughs> but the fact is, you know, Jack figured out, I don't actually have to ask the user to tell uh, you know, me that they're there. The phone tells the cash register that it's in the vicinity without any human intervention other than starting the app and running it in the background. Now, there may be some battery issues with that and so on. But you know, think about that as a trend and a theme that you've got to come to grips with in designing apps. You know, we now have devices that have so much information, so much implicit context. And there's going to be, I think, a revolution as we take away more and more of the instructions that we give to the device and realize, oh, wait, we can just assume that. 